Good morning and welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. Coming to you today from the beautiful southwest of Western Australia. We just camped off to the side of Rooney's Bridge. Yeah, just off the southwest highway, uh, just south of Manjimup. And had a really nice peaceful night here last night. There's a couple of campgrounds on the western side. They were busy, so we come to the eastern side. Um, bit of an early fall will drive in, so it was empty. Yeah, second time we've been here. Both times the western side's been pretty full. Both times this side's been empty. I'm guessing those ruts on the way in uh, turn a lot of people off, so it's worked out all right for us. Got myself some uh, some new shoes for the Luxie, and um, thought we'd come straight down, hit the tracks, and test them out. So from here we'll be heading more south, um, heading to Moon's Crossing, and doing some exploring and camping around there. We've been down here quite a few times. Um, we've seen quite a lot, but there's still heaps more to see. So I think we're going to check out. Diamond Tree today, which is backtracking a little bit towards Manjimup, and yeah, just go for a look around, find some new tracks, and see what we find. Probably find another camp tonight along the Warren River. So stay tuned, guys. Should be another good episode. Stop of the day. We just rocked up to Diamond Tree Lookout. Ah, oh, I can't climb it anymore. It's beyond. So it's, I think it's the Gloucester Tree's little sister. It's yeah. not as high, but. Isn't it? Nah. All right, well, we can take that one off now. See if you can't climb it. <laughs> Says you who almost didn't climb the Gloucester tree. Oh, I climbed it, I shit myself because I'm scared of heights, but I still did it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you did. But multiple times. <laughs> it's the fun part about it, I'm scared of heights, and that's what makes it good. <laughs> Down into Moon's Crossing. Last time I came this way, it was pitch black dark, so it was cool driving through this massive tree forest. We just pulled up at Moon's Crossing. Uh, just did the little little river crossing there. Nothing too hairy. And there's a whole bunch of people set up there for the weekend. 
So we're going to go for a little bit more of a look around. Check out a couple of campsites that we haven't looked at before. Go suss them out. And then if we don't like them, we saw one on the way in that wasn't too far away, so we'll stop back there. Yeah. Still nice and early, it's not even midday yet, but the whole reason that we drove down in one hit on Friday was so that we could take it pretty easy today, so see how we go. So we left Moon's Crossing and we jumped on the black top for a little bit. Heading to a Big Hill Brook campground and we're just down this fire break track. We're sort of heading away from the water. Did you, you didn't really see anything coming in that looked like a little campfire, did you? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I was just watching you in front because you were braking. I'll keep going ahead a little bit, but we are going away from the water. I might be able to, it looks like there's little spots to turn around up here. And then there's a bunch of little tracks and roads and stuff on the other side of the main road that might have something. Roger. So we sort of got to the next wiki camps spot that we were looking for. I didn't really look like there's a camp spot there. So we just sort of followed this track up and trees down. So we're gonna turn around. There's a few little tracks on the other side of the main road we just come from. And there's a, like about four or five different little waterways around there. So see if we can't find something there. In the meantime, we're gonna try and turn around. And there's, um, there's not a lot of room. And my tires are scrub a dub dub. I need to, uh, need to get the hammer out on the old guard. I'll wait for it. <laughs> Just taking a track between um, McAlpine Road and Wheatley Coast Road, and it is pretty overgrown. Paul's had to get the chainsaw out. Have you been for a long time? No. It's, um, often a good thing, but doesn't seem like, I can't see any sign of the camp around here. All right, the last spot we went to, there was no luck. There was um, no campsite. So found a little spot off the one of the main roads we we're coming in on and we we're following this track and hopefully we can find a campsite. Well, in trying to find a camp, we've just followed this track that runs along the Warren River. There's nothing on um, wiki camps or anything. There is a little campsite back at the start of the track. And Paul has just driven through this enormous bog hole. And now there's a tree down on the other side. So he's gonna have to reverse back through it. which should be fun. Yeah, I'm just putting it out there. I don't think your electric chainsaw is getting through that. I only bought my battery in that charger. <laughs> that tree is huge. Yeah, it's long as well. Oh, well. I mean, the black fish would fit under it. <laughs> oh. Not now. It's got clearance for days. Can't turn. No. <laughs> I'm going to reverse back through that bog. I know, that's why I'm here. <laughs>
our nose a bit. We'll try the other side of the river, otherwise, because we couldn't cross the other side because that big tree. Oh, stop it. We found it. A little secluded spot here. Right on the water's edge. Plenty of room. You can fit a couple of cars in there easily. Well, good afternoon. We have had an absolutely magic afternoon at a cracking, cracking campsite. So we um, found this little secret spot. Yeah. Not any maps. Yeah. It's the um, benefits of just taking back tracks and going exploring. Uh, generally, we do try and sort of, we're sort of guided by what's on wiki camps and but often that's just a, a basis to find other cool spots all i can suggest is come down here check out the area for yourself and see what you find you might not find this spot but you might find another cracker that's um not on any of the maps Definitely. along the um along the warren river heaps there's of spots. heaps of spots plenty not a lot of them are on, um, on wiki camps, but the good thing about which we use wiki camps for is you work out if there's an area that you actually can camp in, without being a national park or people's land. So, but definitely around these areas, you can camp pretty much anywhere. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. Just getting out in the bush, out in the um, the southwestern old growth jarrah forests, what's left of them, mm. and um, relaxing. I go away for work in less than a week for six weeks, so this is a little bit of a last hurrah. And I've got the painful duty of being on long service leave and for another <sighs> bucks. 12 weeks. <laughs> My heart bleeds. My heart bleeds. Um, but don't worry guys, I'm so far behind with all of my video editing that you won't even notice that I'm gone because I reckon by the time this video comes out, you'll pretty much be home. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be ready to do some more trips. All right guys, we're gonna keep relaxing and enjoying this view and more than likely see you in the morning.
thanks for tuning in to our short little video on southwest of WA. We're in the final stages of pack up now and we're gonna head on home. Yeah, if, um, if you're a Perth local and you haven't spent much time down here, definitely recommend that you uh, come down and check it out. Likewise, if you're just passing through, uh, you won't be disappointed. Absolutely beautiful area, tracks everywhere, free camps everywhere, and um, really great place just to get back to basics and into nature. So we're gonna hit the road shortly. If you like this video, please uh, do smash that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, we're gonna continue relaxing our night and <laughs> relaxing our night. <laughs> so I think to a point, I don't think after that. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we're in the last stages of our pack up. Thanks for watching our. <laughs> I'm retarded. You're not retarded. <laughs> well, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah.